All right, well, back in March, I actually got really sick. I came down with flu-like symptoms, exhaustion, nausea, fever, and even though I'd gotten my flu shot, I wondered, did I really have COVID-19? In March, the doctor diagnosed me with a presumptive flu case and prescribed me medication, even though the influenza infection lab results were inconclusive. I was out of work for a whole week. Fast forward to today. As research developed and information changed, I was positive I had COVID-19 months ago. Positive before any cases were reported in our area. I decided to get an antibody test with hope that A, I could possibly find out what was truly wrong with me back in March, and B, have the ability to help others currently fighting COVID-19. And it was easy. I was able to schedule a test online through a local lab. After work, I hit the road and pulled up to the lab. The online instructions told me to sit in my car and wait for a text that my clinician was ready. Once it was that time, I went in and took a seat. My nurse set me up. To test for the COVID antibodies. Took a small beaker sized blood sample and that was it. It took a total of five minutes. I waited less than a day for the results to find out that my test was negative. The news, it was a little disappointing considering both my questions were left unanswered. The only thing I do know is that I don't have the antibodies, according to this test, meaning I cannot donate specific COVID-19 antibody plasma. To be clear, a negative COVID-19 antibody test is not a COVID-19 infection test. I may currently have COVID-19, just be asymptomatic. Now, I also may have had the virus, just don't have traces of the antibodies in my blood. And lastly, I may just need to take another COVID-19 antibody test. Now, the total cost for this procedure was only $10 with my insurance. Without insurance, it will cost you $42.